If you are thinking about moving to Texas and specifically to the Austin area, Pflugerville is a really great option to consider. It is a charming neighborhood just north of Austin. It's got access to a lot of amenities, but it's still small enough to have like a close-knit community vibe. So today we're gonna to talk about everything you need to know if you're moving to Pflugerville, Texas. Hi, I'm Tiffany Moore. I'm a local realtor and broker right here in Austin, Texas. I help people from all over the world move to Austin. So if that is something that you're thinking about doing, my contact info is on the screen. Go ahead and jot it down, reach out to me, email, text, DM, whatever works for you, whatever you're more comfortable with. I've got your back. I'll help you out when you're moving to Austin. Make sure you get to the right area, all that good stuff. So let's jump right into it. Two of the biggest things that people ask me about when they're moving to Austin, whether they're moving to Pflugerville or Round Rock, Cedar Park, the biggest questions are how expensive are the houses and what are the schools like? So if you have kids, obviously schools are gonna be important, but even if you don't, um, the school zone can definitely play a role in how much your house appreciates, what the value of the land is, all that good stuff. So school zones can be important. It usually is important to people who are sending their kids to public schools, but even if you're not, it may be important as far as thinking about the appreciation of your home whenever you go to sell it in the future. So first we're gonna talk about schools. And I wanna give you two resources that I like to use when evaluating schools. The first one is greatschools.org. This has a lot of objective data. Um, they've got information as far as like test scores, reading level, college readiness, um, graduation rates, things like that. And the other resource is niche.com, N-I-C-H-E.com. This is a lot of like self-reported reviews. So parents will go in there and talk about how they like the school, do they like the teacher, what kind of experiences did they have. So I encourage you to use both resources because they're gonna give you totally different sets of information, and you really wanna weed out the data that you're looking at depending on what is important to you. So let's talk about schools in Pflugerville. First, there's really no way to sugarcoat this. The schools are okay. They are not the best. They're not the best as far as um, Austin standards go, but they are doing okay. So what does it mean that the schools are okay? Well, here is how greatschools.org breaks down uh, the percentage of schools that are at, above, or below average in the Pflugerville School District. So 28% of schools are above average, 34% are right at the average, and 38% are below average. And what exactly are they measuring when they're talking about average? Check out greatschools.org. They are taking a lot of different data points into account. It's kind of like a comprehensive view of a big conglomerate score when we're talking about rating the schools. So elementary schools are rated anywhere from a two out of 10 to a nine out of 10. And most of the highly rated schools are gonna be on the Northeast side of Pflugerville. So yes, consider the information, and this is for the overall Pflugerville Independent School District as a whole, but you'll wanna check out each individual school and see how it compares to what your expectations are. But just so you know, overall, the results for Leander School District and Round Rock School District are higher than they are for Pflugerville. So the second biggest factor that people ask me about is home prices. So if you are considering moving to Pflugerville, this part is for you because we're gonna talk about pricing as it compares to the city of Austin. So according to the Austin Board of Realtors, median sales prices for March of this year in Pflugerville were about $420,000. So 420 is the median sales price in Pflugerville. That means half of the sales were above 420, half of the sales were below 420. So that comes out to about $203 per square foot. And we're talking about single family homes. So not condos, not multifamily, anything like that, just strictly single family homes. The general cost of living index for Pflugerville is just below the national average. So 100 is the national average. Pflugerville is at 97.9. And the reason that it's even that high is really because of the housing costs. Everything else in Pflugerville is at or below the average. Everything from grocery stores, gas, transportation, restaurants, shopping, all that stuff. Pretty much the only thing that's high in Pflugerville is housing costs. But Pflugerville is still definitely more affordable than Austin. So we talked about the median sales price for homes in Pflugerville is $420,000, which is about $203 a square foot. The median sales price in Austin for the same period of time for March of 2023 was $581,000, and the price per square foot was $299. So a 50% higher price per square foot and a much higher median sales price. You're definitely going to get more bang for your buck 
in Pflugerville than you are in Austin. And just in general, a good general rule of thumb for Austin and for probably most metropolitan areas is the further away you get from the city, the more affordable everything is. Pflugerville is kind of unique in that it's still pretty close to the city. It's about 15, 20 minutes to like downtown Austin, but you're getting a little bit more affordable prices than you would in like Round Rock or Cedar Park. So we talked about Pflugerville being pretty affordable, especially as it relates to Austin and even to Round Rock and to Cedar Park. The schools are okay. So the school districts in, in Leander, the Leander ISD and the Round Rock ISD, they're putting up better results than Pflugerville. So that's good to know. So what are some of the other reasons that people are moving to Pflugerville? Let's talk about those. So Pflugerville has all of the amenities of like Round Rock Cedar Park, but it still has a small like tight-knit community and kind of like a hometown vibe. Pflugerville has a lot of like festivals and events and things like that that really kind of bring the community together and it's fun stuff for people to do. So some of the cool stuff they do is they have a fall chili fest. Also, if you've never seen Pflugerville spelled, you probably have now because you've seen this video, but it's spelled funny. It starts with a PF. And so all the fun festivals and events in Pflugerville, they also start with a PF. So the Fall Chili Fest is P-F-A-L-L Chili, and Fest is spelled P-F-E-S-T. So same thing, they have a Deutschen Fest. It's Deutschen, how it's regularly spelled, and Fest is P-F-E-S-T. Um, you know, you see those people with little stickers uh, like France and Germany and things like that. And then other cities have started making them. The sticker in Pflugerville is PF. So it's, you know, it's those little white ovals that have the black lettering in them. If you see them around Austin, it says PF. It's not some crazy country in Europe you've never heard of. It's just Pflugerville. So Pflugervillians are very proud of the PF spelling and all of the fun events and stuff around Pflugerville are usually going to start with PF. So it's cute. It's fun. So in Pflugerville, you're just as close to Round Rock as you are to Austin. So you really kind of have the best of both worlds. You've got homes that are more affordable than Austin or Round Rock, but you have easy access to all the amenities that they offer. So you're seriously just like 15 minutes from everything going on in Round Rock. You've got the Kalahari um, Water Resort, which is like the largest indoor water park in the country. You have got the Round Rock Express Baseball Stadium. You can go see baseball games. You've got the Round Rock Premium Outlets. You've got Ikea. You've got so much shopping and everything to do in Round Rock that's seriously like 15, 20 minutes away. You've got the shops, the restaurants, all that good stuff. Or you're like 15, 20 minutes away from Austin. So you can go to the cool restaurants. You can go to shows. You can go like stand-up pedaling and canoeing on the lake. Um, Pflugerville is kind of in that sweet spot where it's in the middle of those two big areas that have already been developed and have all the stores, the shops, the amenities, things like that, but you're not paying the price tag for either one of those cities. So it's definitely an awesome trade-off. The only other trade-off that we talked about, right, is the school districts. So Round Rock has got better school districts, but honestly, the city of Austin in like the east side of Austin, this, the schools don't have any better performance than the ones in Pflugerville. So just like any other inner city schools, the school ratings are not that great. They're going to be better as you get out to the suburbs and really to more of the high end suburbs is where you're going to find um, the higher school ratings. So if you're looking for like a busy metro area like Austin or even like Round Rock, there's definitely a lot of parts in Round Rock that are very busy, heavily populated, lots of stuff going on. If that's kind of the vibe that you're looking for, Pflugerville may not be busy or exciting enough for you. But if you kind of want access to those things, but you want to live a little bit outside of it, you don't want the crazy traffic, you're okay driving 15 minutes to get to the cool stuff, then Pflugerville is going to be a great option. Pflugerville is also a really cool family-friendly community. So it's a great place for kids. It has a relatively low crime rate. And we talked about the schools. Schools are okay. They could be better, but there are definitely worse areas for public schools. And there are a lot of private schools in the area too. So you definitely have options. A lot of people ask me, if I live in one school district, can I apply to like send my kid to school in another school district? In most cases, no. So unless it's something where you're like, I live in Pfluger ISD right now, but I'm moving to Round Rock in six weeks. Can I start sending my kid to the Round Rock school? Those are the things that they would make an exception for that. And if uh, you need any special accommodations and you have to go to one school or another, there is a standard um, like list of exceptions that they will consider if you're thinking about switching from one school district to another. But in general... If you are living in Pflugerville, you're going to have to send your kid to the school district that they that your house is zoned for. So FYI, I get that question a lot. So when I clear it up in general, no, you can't just pick a different school district to send your kid to. You need to like 
think about that ahead of time and buy the home in the school district that you want to send your kids to. So back to being family friendly, there is a ton of stuff to do outside in Pflugerville. So you've got Lake Pflugerville, which has fishing, swimming, you can go boating, you can go canoeing. Um, in my past life, when I worked in the corporate world, there was a guy that I worked with who was like super impressed with me and my friend who were running a marathon. He's like, you know what? I'm going to do that too. I'm going to run a half marathon. I don't think he'd like run a step in his life. So I was super excited for him. Like, yes, you can do it. Good for you. And I don't think he trained very hard for it, but he's like, yeah, I'm going to run this half marathon. I'm going to do this one specifically in Pflugerville. And then I'm going to jump in the, in like Pflugerville and I'm going to cool off and it's going to be amazing. I was like, cool, dude, if that's your motivation, go for it. And he was training kind of. And then the, so the races are usually on Sunday. So Monday after the race, I was like, hey, how did it go? How'd your race go? And he's like, wobbling to his desk and can't really walk and is sitting down. And I'm trying to like, we had ice machines on every floor. So I'm like, you know, buddy, I'm going to go bring you some ice and you just sit there and uh, I'm going to bring you some lunch too. So just enjoy sitting for the rest of the day today. Um, but yeah, anyway, long story short, Pflugerville has got like races. They've got fun events. There's tons of stuff to do outside. Um, there's lots of parks everywhere. So it's definitely a great place if you enjoy being outside, if your kids like being outside, there is a lot of stuff to do. If you want to run a half marathon and junk, jump in like Pflugerville afterwards, you should totally do that. I highly recommend that you train your body beforehand so you're not just like barely hobbling into work the next day or just take the day off. Maybe you're probably going to need to take a couple days off if you don't train. Um, anyway, there's lots of stuff to do. Pflugerville has a really strong economy and a very low unemployment rate. So it's a great spot if you're coming to Austin for work, if you're coming here to take advantage of the opportunities and the growth that's going on here. Some of the top employers for people who live in Pflugerville are Dell. The huge Dell office is like right around the corner. It's like 10 to 15 minutes away from Pflugerville. Samsung, we have a huge Samsung facility in Austin, and they're building another even bigger giant facility in Taylor. Pflugerville is right in the middle of those two. So if you're coming here to work for Samsung, or you're not sure which office you're going to be at, Pflugerville is a great option because you can hit either one within about 20 minutes. And another huge employer for people who live in Pflugerville is Amazon. So we have a huge distribution center for Amazon in Pflugerville, and it's growing more and more every day. Um, there's a, there are a lot of warehouses like that in Pflugerville too. So it's got really easy access to I-35, really good access to the toll road. So it's a great spot for warehouses, for drop shipping companies, things like that. If that is an industry that you're in right now, or you're thinking about being in, Pflugerville is a great location for that. And not only is it great for like those warehouses, what we talked about, it's very affordable too, much more affordable than Austin or Round Rock. The median household income in Pflugerville is higher than the national average. And like we talked about before, the cost of living in Pflugerville is just below the national average. And it would be much lower except for the cost of housing. So even though Pflugerville is more affordable than Austin and Round Rock, it's still uh, less affordable than if you're coming from like Lexington, Kentucky, somewhere in the Midwest, places like that. Overall, Pflugerville is going to give you a high quality of life with easy access to amenities without necessarily you having to pay for them. So as long as you're okay driving 15, 20 minutes to get to all the cool stuff, Pflugerville is a really good option that can give you um, a great house at a lower price, a much lower price than what you're going to pay in Austin or in Round Rock. And that is one of the major advantages of living in Pflugerville. When we talk about a commute, if you are having to commute to Austin or to Round Rock for work, Again, the commute's going to be like 15, 20 minutes. Now, that is if you're driving at like noon on a Wednesday. If you're driving in rush hour, yes, it's going to be a little bit longer. It's probably going to be somewhere like 30 to 35 minutes. But again, depending on where you're coming from, that's probably still a bargain. So the traffic really isn't going to be too bad coming from Pflugerville. Also, one of the biggest reasons is because it's right off of the toll road. So we have the 130 toll road that goes to the east of Austin. It cuts right through Pflugerville you can drive very fast on that road. I think the speed limit is 75, 80, something like that. This is the road that the Gigafactory is off of, the Tesla Gigafactory. That building is literally a mile long. And even as you're driving at 80 miles an hour, you know, driving past the factory, it takes you a minute. It's going to take you a minute to drive past it. So just to say that Pflugerville is going to be easier on your commute than if you were living in like Leander, Liberty Hill, or Georgetown, because you can take that toll road and it's just closer as a crow flies to Austin. 
So we talked about Pflugerville is like a 15, 20 minute drive to Round Rock. It's just as close to Hutto. Hutto is just a little bit further north from Cedar or from Round Rock. And then Georgetown is just a little bit past that as well. So you've got 15, 20 minutes to Round Rock. You've got a total of like 20 to 25 minutes to Georgetown. And if you haven't seen any of my videos about Georgetown, there's a ton of them on here. Go ahead and check that out. There's so much fun stuff to do. You can go to the downtown. They have a square, which is totally cool with open containers. So there's a bunch of winery outposts in Georgetown. You can grab a glass of wine, go meander around the stores. Um, one of my favorite restaurants there is 600 Degrees Pizza. They have amazing pizza. They have all these specialty pizzas and the slices are like New York style, like slices as big as your head. It is a great spot and they have one of the best beer bars in Georgetown as well. So we'll get a glass of wine, get a beer, walk around the square. You're literally like 25, 30 minutes away from that. If you are used to using public transportation, if you live in a city like New York or Boston or Chicago, something like that, you're not going to have that in Austin and you're not going to have it in Pflugerville. Austin has a very basic light rail system. We are working on expanding it, but even so, it's going to be mostly expanded within downtown and the places that are adjacent to downtown. So Pflugerville is out in the suburbs. Even if it does get expanded out there, it's not going to be something you're going to be able to rely on to get to wherever you're going. So if anything, it's going to have like one light rail station for all of Pflugerville. So you're definitely going to need a car. Um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say about the transportation. There's just not a lot of reliable public transportation. Like there's none in the city of Pflugerville and there's very little in the city of Austin. So something to be aware of. You're definitely going to need to drive pretty much everywhere you go. So this is something that I make sure to talk to everyone about when we are talking about moving to Austin is I, I'm asking people like, what is the lifestyle that you want to live when you move out here? Like you're moving here for a reason. Is it to work and do you want to be close to your office? Is it to live the lifestyle that you want? And what is that? What do you want to be close to? It's really important to think about these things when you're trying to figure out where should I live and where's the best place for me to put down roots in Austin. So I bring that up because it's important to consider the things that are actually in Pflugerville for you to do versus the things that you would have to drive to Austin or Round Rock or those things to do. So we're going to talk about other things that there are to do in Pflugerville. So Pflugerville does have a cute little downtown area. They've got shops, there's some restaurants. It's all very heavy on local businesses. So they also have a farmer's market on Sunday and they have a cute little coffee shop. I think it's called like Pecan Street Coffee. It's awesome. Coffee, pastries, those things. They have all those things just on a smaller scale. So again, if you're looking for somewhere much bigger with a lot more options, Austin or Round Rock are going to be better places for you to check out. But if you want somewhere quieter, if you want somewhere that's a little bit slower, a little bit sleepier, Pflugerville is a really great option. Pflugerville gets hot. So we're going to talk about the weather in a second. But Pflugerville has Typhoon Texas, which is a water park with awesome rides. It's got a lazy river. It's got a wave pool. And it is, it's, it's in Pflugerville. So you don't have to drive an hour to get to like a big city to go to a water park. Austin actually has a few water parks and Typhoon Texas is in Pflugerville. So if you've got kids or if you just love water parks, this is a great option and it's going to be really close to you in Pflugerville. We talked about Lake Pflugerville briefly. It is a 180 acre reservoir with fishing. You can go swimming, you can go boating in there. It's got a park surrounding the lake and they've got trails, playgrounds, all that good stuff. It's a really awesome spot to check out. If you wanna just be outdoors, you wanna be close to the water. It's a cool place in Pflugerville to go and just like hang out, have a picnic, get, let everyone like run around and get their energy out. There's definitely spots for that in Pflugerville. You don't have to go to Austin, Round Rock, any of those places for it. It's right here in your backyard. This was something that I didn't know about. Pflugerville has a BMX track. So if you do like BMX biking, there's a track in Pflugerville and they host races and they have events throughout the year. So if you're looking to get into some kind of like X games or something like that, go to the BMX track, look and see what people are doing. Start making friends and being part of that community. That is something that's really cool. I didn't even know it was in Pflugerville, but if that's something that you already do, awesome. If you're thinking about getting into it, it is again, right in your backyard in Pflugerville. There's also a lot of disc golf in Austin. So a lot of the breweries will be on like big pieces of land. Like one of my favorite breweries down by the airport is Live Oak. They have a huge disc golf course. Um, there's a few out in Zilker Park as well. Like a bunch of parks all over Austin have like a like disc golf baskets and stuff. Flukervale has a big disc golf course called Northwestern Disc Golf Course. So if you, again, are just looking to get outside, 
you want to um, just do something fun, you want to hang out with the family or with friends, and you do disc golf, awesome. Again, Pflugerville has this right in your backyard. If not, and you want to experiment it, I'm sure they're happy to show you how to do it. Um, just another option for you to do to get out of the house, do something fun without having to go all the way to Austin, Round Rock, or Georgetown to do it. There are a lot of cool stuff, cool things for you to do right within Pflugerville. If you love checking out new restaurants and going out to eat and doing all that fun stuff, Pflugerville doesn't have a whole lot to offer in that arena, just being honest. You are probably going to have to go to Austin or to Round Rock or Georgetown to get to some cool restaurants and fun stuff like that. There are restaurants in Pflugerville. I just don't go to Pflugerville to eat. I'm going to go to Austin for that. There is a really cool distillery in Pflugerville, though. It's called Pflugerville Spirit of Texas, and it was founded by a local Pflugerville native. So definitely check it out. There are a lot of small independent restaurants and shops and things like that in Pflugerville, which is really like in the spirit of Austin. Austin's really big on independent businesses and this kind of spreads out throughout the whole region. So there are definitely places for you to check out and support your local community, your mom and pop businesses, your little independent businesses, things like that. And I think it's awesome that Pflugerville has a distillery. I think they also have a winery and a brewery. So places that you can go to support your local community. And while we're talking about, let's talk about nightlife. So one of the most popular things to do in Pflugerville is Maverick's Dance Hall. This is a big, like just what you would think, like a big country dance hall. And it is kind of like the staple of Pflugerville. It is where you go in Pflugerville. Um, so if you dance, awesome, you should check it out. Even if you don't dance, it's a fun time. If you're not into dancing at all, you're not into uh, anything like that, Growler Bar is another cool place for you to check out. Check out the craft beer. That's probably like the biggest craft beer scene in Pflugerville. Obviously, it's a growler bar. So bring your empty growler. Bring some cool craft beer home with you. Um, and again, support local. Like these are all smokel, smokel, small and local independent businesses that you can support right, uh, right around the corner, right in your backyard. So we talked about the state of public schools in Pflugerville um, and the Pflugerville School District. There are also a handful of higher education options in and around Pflugerville. One of the biggest ones that you probably already know about is UT Austin. So if you've heard of the Longhorns, anything like that, that's UT Austin. It's about 20 miles south of Pflugerville. It's right in the middle of town. You're also really close to Southwestern University in Georgetown. This is the first institution of higher learning in Texas, and its beginnings date back to the 1840s. So this is like 25 minutes north of Pflugerville. Some other options nearby are Texas State University, St. Edwards University, and Concordia University. And there are a handful of vocational and technical training, plus Austin Community College. So there are a lot of other options for you to go to a traditional university, for you to build your skills, for you to just take some random classes. If you're like, oh, I always wanted to learn French, like you can totally do that here. Austin Community College has campuses all over town, like all over the whole area. There's bound to be one that's close to you, or there may be some online options that you can check out as well. If you're thinking about Pflugerville, it's really important that you understand the climate here. And when we talk, this is one of the, the biggest things that I make sure people understand when they're moving to the Austin area. It is hot here. It gets really hot here during the summer. So last year, it was the hottest like June to August that we've had on record. Our first 100 degree day last year was on June 4th. Uh, and it lasted probably until about the end of September. So almost every single day in that time span, it was between 97 and like 103 degrees in Austin. It's really hot and it's kind of humid. So I lived in El Paso for four years. It got very hot there, but it wasn't so humid. Instead, it was like very windy. So like you would walk outside and it would be like a hairdryer, which is like blowing in your face nonstop. And I also grew up in Florida. So in Florida, it was kind of more temperate, but very humid. Austin is hot and it's humid. So it's a losing combination. It's not the best. So I really want to make sure people understand, like, it gets very hot here, but there are ways for us to combat it. So uh, Austin is really big on patios. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I love having a margarita, sitting on the patio, especially when it's nice out. There's a lot of shade, but also we just know to, like, bring sunscreen everywhere you go. Bring a hat bring some water. Um, this past summer, honestly, it got a little bit unbearable. Like I didn't even want to go outside and it got kind of depressing. So I hope that this summer is a little bit better. I think it might be. We've had a pretty reasonable spring, kind of a cool spring and very rainy. So hopefully that means that we're going to have a milder summer. If we don't though, 
you should be prepared and you should know like it gets very hot here. Also, our winters are pretty mild. So we're gonna have a very hot summer, we have a pretty mild winter. It's pretty rainy in the winter and the lowest it gets is usually like in the 30s. You'll have a few days where it's in the teens or in the 20s, but for the most part, the lowest it's gonna get is around like 30 degrees. Um, and then usually during the day, you'll have like a high of 45 or something. So if you're used to living in like Boston, Seattle, New York, you're gonna come to Austin and be like, this is it. This is pretty nice. Like it is, it is really nice. So I just want people to understand what the weather is like here and what to expect. So if you've got like your big down parkas that come all the way to your knees, you are not gonna need that here. And you might just wanna like put it in storage or sell it or something before you come down here. Cause there's not a whole lot of places for you to store it in your house because we don't need them. Cause we don't have like different wardrobes for different times of the year. Pretty much whatever you're wearing, you can wear it year round if you just like layer up. But you don't need those huge parkas that look like duvets. Like you put a duvet and you put a zipper on and you're just walking around town. You're not, you're not gonna need that here. So you should have a really good understanding of what it is like day to day to live in Pflugerville. It's very affordable. Groceries are cheap, utilities are cheap, gas, transportation, all that stuff. The only thing that's not as affordable is housing. So again, the median price in Pflugerville was 420, um, and the median price in Austin is 580. This is These are accurate numbers as of March of 2023. So obviously a much higher price point in Austin than you have in Pflugerville. Everything else is pretty reasonable. You've got some okay public schools. The public schools in Round Rock and Leander are better. You have some private school options as well. But again, check out each school individually and figure out what works for you. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff to do outdoors. So you've got like Pflugerville, you can go kayaking, canoeing, fishing, swimming. Um, you can have a picnic out there, play your disc golf, learn how to do BMX biking. Like there's so much cool stuff that you can do here. And that's only if you want to stay in Pflugerville. If you are up to driving for 15 to 20 minutes and going to Austin or going to Round Rock, there's so much more for you to do. So the bonuses of Pflugerville are it's more affordable, it's close to town. Um, the cons are schools aren't that great. Um, that's pretty much it. So if you need some help trying to figure out where to live when you're moving to Austin, my contact info is below. Jot it down, reach out to me, however is comfortable for you. Text, email, DM, whatever you want. I'll get back with you. And yeah, I'll make sure you're all set up when you're moving to Austin. I'll talk to you soon.